Sparge boys basketball team is 10-0 in the Scenic Bluffs. The number five ranked team in the state is on the verge of its first conference title since 1989 and has a shot at making its first ever appearance in the state tournament. In more ways than one, it is a historical season for first year head coach Kevin Alderson. There's a motto for this bright season in Lafarge. I do understand how special the season is. One of our slogans, in a sense, is we want to make history with our season. There's no one better to help make history than someone who lives and breathes it. Well, this gym, I think, was built back in 64 or 65, but... Kevin Alderson graduated from Lafarge in 1970. It brings back memories because I played here in 60... Well, actually, all those years, 66 through 70. So I never really imagined I'd be sitting here coaching. Alderson coached at Cashton for 22 years and retired 10 years ago. He was a history teacher. That's his true passion, and it's what he's done for the last decade. Well, I'm uh, a little bit diversified, I guess I would say for sure. Kevin and his wife, Patsy, run the Ottervale General Store. That was his great, great aunt and uncle's place. And so we just moved it up the road here and placed it here. They edited a book on the Civil War. It was uh, quite the project, and, and it was something that we had set aside for retirement. They wrote a book called Barns Without Corners. Vernon County has the most round barns of any place in the nation, actually. They even do Amish tours. We do that, too. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, it's <laughs> really interesting. He does a, I don't know how many books he's uh, written, but he really enjoys it. And I was intending to work on another book this winter, and that's kind of like on hold now until we uh, complete this mission. This winter, Kevin is helping the Lafarge boys basketball team write their own chapter. As they look toward what this season could be, there's an appreciation for the past. I think it's very important to know your, your local history and uh, the pioneers that first settled this area and uh, a lot of times we're referred to as Kickapoogians because we grew up on the Kickapoo River here. And I think it's just important to, to develop a sense of identity of who you are based on what's evolved before you. And these Wildcats could evolve into a team people in Lafarge will be talking about for generations to come. We all understand what we're doing and where we're at. We would like to make some, some of our own history. And so far so good, but uh, there's a lot more things we'd like to accomplish. Now Kevin says he isn't sure how many more seasons he'll coach Lafarge. He says there's lots more projects waiting for him once he retires for good.